Celtic week week for nine nil against Motherwell can't do much better than that. I think um, I think everything that we wanted to happen happened um, on the day. You know, certainly had um, everybody firing on all cylinders. So, yeah, everybody's contribution was great, which obviously um, resulted in the, the scoreline. Um, just so many positives for you. I mean, Kirsty Howard hat trick in her debut. Was it on it hat trick, and then Megan Mill making a comeback as well? Yeah, it was really pleasing. Really, really pleasing for um, you know not just the the new signings coming in, which obviously gave a a big impact to the game. Um, but Megan coming back, yeah, she's been what I think it's been eight months or something like that, that she's been out. So she's um, in testament to the, the staff at Rangers, the medical team, you know, um, making sure that her recovery was was such that she's she's came back um, in a timely manner. You made you made five changes for that game. Are you surprised just how quickly it clicked? I was. I well, kind of yes and yes and no. We we, we always knew that the players that that we were bringing in were good quality players, you know, uh, that were going to add value to the squad. But um, I think the, the the whole mood of the group we've been we've been saying we've been banging on for the start about getting relationships and and forming strong bonds with each other. Um, and I think the players that came in just kind of added to that. But the rest of the girls that are in the squad, you know, the the the, the mainstay of the squad, if you like, you really kind of made them feel welcome. And it's just a good environment just now. Um, Glasgow City on on Sunday. Just just how important is this game? Because I know it's still early in the season, but after obviously losing to Celtic, um, you can't really afford to lose much more ground, can you? Well, I think it's every game's every game's important, you know. So there'll be no there'll be no um, there'll be no special arrangements or anything like that made in terms of training and stuff like that. We'll just we've got our style of play. We've got our, our methodology that we work to, and, and at the training ground, you know, our weeks planned out. And we just go about it the exact same way, just with the with the same kind of enthusiasm and attention to detail. And it's the players that are it's the players that that, that make any team, you know. Um, and they've they've really bought into the way we go about training on a daily basis and the uh, the standards that are required to to play with, with Rangers. Is this a good time to play them? Obviously, you've taken three players from them. They'll probably sign new players, but maybe not until January. Obviously, they're coming off a Champions League game as well. Is it a good time to get them? I think it doesn't really it doesn't really affect it doesn't really bother me and my thinking or you know myself Kevin the rest of the staff the the, the club as a whole um, you've got to play you've got to play each other in a season you know the teams that are in the league you've got to play them so whether you play them at the start the end makes no difference um, I think that's one thing about what what we're what we're doing at Rangers what the club's doing is that it's a focus game by game we focus on each 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 individual task and we go about it in the right manner. Such a um, sort of emphatic victory like that can sometimes one of the challenges almost be sort of switching back into um, the mode of heading into a really kind of competitive game and one where obviously towards the end of the the Motherwell game you're you're less likely to have maybe been playing at the at the kind of tempo that you would have been that you will be going into the into the start of the game against Glasgow Glasgow City this weekend. Um, could it just be a case of sort of really building the intensity back up to to get peak going into the start of this game? I think I think every game every game's got its got its different challenge to it. You know, um, some games have got pressure on them. You know, and whether that be the pressure of you know like an old firm game, you know, it's, or it's or it's you know playing like a Glasgow City or top of the league, you know, and have been for a, a number of years. Um, but again. There's there's no change to our preparation, you know. So, you know whether we win, lose, or draw, we come back in with the attitude of getting back to work, getting back to you know getting back to that preparation for the next game. You know, like so the game there, that we'll, we've done the exact same things that we always do. We we rest, we regenerate, we then have a a, a period where we we do the analysis of the game and we we reflect on how we've played and what we've contributed in the game, um, and then very quickly we 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 flip on to our next our next task at hand. Which is Glasgow City, um, but the 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 whole the whole league's about you know winning as many games as you can, getting the three points, and and certainly for us it's it's playing with that flair and that style that we want to try and um, promote not just in the women's game but also for us as, at Rangers Football Club we want to be entertaining, we want the fans to to enjoy watching us. Absolutely, um, and are there are there any particular elements of the performance from from last last weekend? Um, that you'll be looking to replicate in, in this one and, and any areas that you feel need to be stronger? 
I think I think there's there's always areas where you can improve in. Um, I think the big the big bit for myself and Kevin, you know, watching it from the side was the appetite and the the absolute relentless desire um, to to you know to stick to the game plan to 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 really focus on how to play the game properly in, in our style or fashion. So that their appetite and their energy w w was was great, you know, for me for me and for Kevin to see. Um, and also the the, the um, you know just their, their kind of their, their drive and their, their enthusiasm that they had in them. So that we know that they're good players, and we know that you know we we, we repeat practices and we, we we look to develop and, and hone their skills. But the only way that they're going to get better is to have an absolute buy-in, which is what they've got.